In Modo 14.2, you'll find powerful new additions to our UV toolset. The new feature Real World Size gives you an intuitive method for textures with a known real world size to be applied to meshes at that size. For example, say you have a handbag model that is 40 centimeters long. After unwrapping your model, you decide that one UV should equal about 10 centimeters in length, or 100 millimeters. Using the real world size window, you can enter this amount and press apply overall, and your UVs will be resized to match that real world size. We've also added a real world size toggle to the Texel density tool. When a change is made to the UV or the 3D position of any vertex in the model, the real world size is considered altered as it may not represent an accurate real world size anymore. This is indicated by a red highlight on the Real Size menu in the UV viewport. You can resolve this by either setting a new real world size, or, if your change hasn't affected the real world size, you can use the Clear Warning option to remove this warning. If you no longer want a real world size associated with your UV map, you can use the Clear Real World Size entry to clear it. To support real world size, the UV window now displays the texture size or tiling. So even if you're not using real world size, you can now visualize your UV tiling in the UV viewport. AXF materials support real world texture scale, which means that when you import an AXF material, it will correctly set the size of the texture locator to that of the AXF material. This makes it possible to immediately use them at their real world size. Once you have set up an association between one UV and a real world distance from the real world scale window, Lastly, the Pack UVs tool has a new setting, Keep Island Size. When enabled, it will override the stretch setting and ensure that your packed UVs retain their relative size.